All right, folks, we're going to do a quick tutorial for any new people that have been uh, shared this new platform, StableSwap. Uh, if your sponsor has sent you to this video, we're going to do a quick walkthrough on quick registration, funding your account, and then choosing the right pool, the right package for you. Uh, so you're going to be sent a link that's going to send you to a page similar to this um, where it'll have sign up information. You're going to go ahead and enter your details here. Go ahead and register. I already have an account, so I'm going to go to my login page and sign in. When you sign in, you're going to be um, first presented this dashboard. Uh, everything here that you're seeing will be blank. It'll be zero USDT, zero USDC. Uh, to the right here is the crypto swap. That is the OTC portion um, of stable swap in doing the fiat to crypto conversions that you can do online. We're not going to go over that. That has nothing to do with what we're doing. <clears throat> you have um, options here in the center. It defaults to withdrawal, which is fine. Um, but what we're going to do here is a uh, deposit, and this is where you're going to add whatever you choose, right? Whether it's USDT or USDC. Now, what happens is once you choose one of the two, let's choose USDT. It allows us to deposit on three different blockchains, the Tron uh, blockchain, Ethereum, or Binance Smart Chain. So if you have USDT TRC, you're going to choose T, the Tron there, right? If you do not have Tron, you're going to choose USDT. And let's say you have uh, USDT on the Ethereum network. You're going to cl click that. Same thing for Binance. You're going to click the BSC smart contract to do that. For this training, we're going to do TRC. And it automatically tells you which, which network you're on. Uh, if you're going to be funding your account from a desktop um, extension, like a, a Google Chrome extension with MetaMask or SafePal or whatever, whatever you choose, you're simply going to copy this address right here. You could highlight it and copy it or just hit the little tab to the right, copy that address. It now says address copy. I'm going to fund this account from my SafePal. So I'm going to go over to SafePal. And I'm going to scroll down to USDT TRC20. So I have the TRC there, right? And all I'm going to want to do is I'm going to hit send. I'm going to paste the address that we just copied. And for this video, I'm going to deposit... Uh, 100 USDT. So you see right now the conversion rate to from USDT to the US dollar is actually dollar for dollar. It's a match. And I'm going to hit continue. And it tells me, boom, you're going to have to have a little TRX in your wallet to cover the gas fees and need 13 point whatever. I know I have it there. Not a big deal. You can add a memo what it's for. So I'll just do... Stable swap, uh, let's do today's date, 0, 01-16-24. So now I have that noted. Transaction is submitted for on-chain confirmation. And I'll keep that open. I'll go back real quick. As not confirmed yet. But I see on, oops. In my wallet, that transaction is sending. All right, it's now deducted. So I'm now down to 413. We go back, let's go back out to our uh, dashboard and refresh. All right, it hasn't hit yet, but you know, it takes a couple minutes to confirm. <clears throat> I can't remember, I believe it's about 30 transactions. 30 or 32 transactions um, on the blockchain uh, confirmations that it does. And um, once it hits that, 
I'll go back. Let's do a refresh. Double check my wallet. It says it has gone. So let's just go. All right. So send. I can click here to confirm it. And it says it was successful one minute and 19 seconds ago. All right. Cool. It just hasn't posted into my dashboard yet. Not a big deal. And these are the different contracts while we're waiting on that. So the way stable swap is sweat up, is set up. Uh, I'm sure you watched the um, AMA that we did with Danny D, one of the developers and co-founders. There's three different contracts uh, that you can choose. There's a 60 day, 120 day, or a 300 day. And if you look below each one of those, uh, the 60 day short term, it pays daily 0.1% for a total over the 60 day period of 36.5%. To the far right, the medium term, which is 120 days, pays 0.2% a day, or over the term of 120 days, pays out 73%. And then the long-term play, I'm not, I don't want to say this is the most popular. Uh, it's the one that I've done twice now. It's a 300-day contract, pays 0.35% a day for a total of 127.75% generated over that 100 or over that 300-day period. So let me go back and refresh and see. No, it hasn't posted yet, but I know the first two times I um, went and did a deposit that actually didn't didn't transpire as fast as, as I had thought. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. And as soon as it posts, I'll go ahead and jump back on and go through the funding process with everybody. All right, we're back. So uh, if you had paid attention to my balance before, my balance was $10.32 USDT. It's now 110.32 uh, USDT. So the transaction confirmed. It funded uh, my account. And now to choose which one, you click on liquidity pools on the left there, and you choose the contract. So if you look below here, I have two active contracts. The first one started on the 9th of January for 300 days. I have already earned uh, 2.45 on that. And then I just re-bought this morning from some commissions. And from my earnings, I bought an additional $50 contract just earlier today. So it says 300 days left because I just did it uh, a couple hours ago. So now I'm going to do a different one. I've already done two long terms. I'm going to do this one as a short term. So all you're going to do, you're going to click on provide liquidity. You're going to choose where you have funds, whether you might have deposited USDC, it'll show up right there. But because I did USDT, it's now showing here. I'm going to type in the 100 that I just did. I'm going to click and agree to the terms and conditions that you can read. You're going to hit confirm. It now says from my USDT wallet, my internal wallet with stable swap, transaction type was new liquidity that we're creating right now. Amount was 100. And my daily rewards on that is going to be 0.1%. Hit confirm. Right there, boom, your request has been processed. So it now posts directly down here. You see a brand, the very top one, brand new short-term contract for 100 USDT. Start date is today's date, January 16th, 2024. It's going to be 60 days on this contract. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I will earn 36.5% on this deal, right? Where does that show up? And guess what happens? If I go to history, these are all transactions from that first liquidity that I did about seven days ago. You see, I'm earning 0.35 USDT every single day. 
that actually, if you go through the history, you can see here the last seven days in your dashboard, those profits are going to show up right here, right? Once you get up to 50 in that USDT wallet, you can withdraw it or you can take it out. It makes no difference, right? So if you look here, withdraw minimums, uh, USDT minimum is 50, max is 10,000. Uh, um, if I were to change it to USDC, same thing, minimum 50, max 10,000. Right now, I'm going to use the compounding effect. So uh, as I build up those profits, it's also going to build up um, my different liquidity pools that I have active, the ones we just saw right here. So guys, I hope that's helpful. Um, get active, uh, figure out what risk capital you're willing to put into this pool. I'll also put a link in this video uh, just above to the full AMA, the Ask Me Anything that we just did um, the other day with the developer and co-founder, Danny D. Uh, keep updates in Telegram, communicate with us through that platform. That's the best way we're on there at all times. So for that, guys, I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you soon.